wannabes. How are you today? Today, excuse my appearance, I look white as a ghost. <clears throat> I'm not feeling very well. My throat's really bugging me today. <clears throat> excuse me, so forgive me from coughing and umming and all that crap. <clears throat> but <sighs> there's something to be said for retail therapy. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> I had a bit of a rough week last week. I won't get into it. Um, that's kind of a private thing. But um, today I went to work and I was just like, you know what? Michael's is having a big sale right, right now. <clears throat> Um, they're having their spring fling or whatever the heck it is sale. Uh, and a lot of things are 30% off. So <clears throat> there was a few things I needed and a few things I didn't. <laughs> so I thought I would share that with you. I also did a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul, which is something that is unheard of for me. Um, but there's a reason for it. I had this epiphany. Yes. <laughs> So I'm going to share that with you. Okay, first off, uh, <clears throat> I took your your guys' advice. I listened to, when I was talking to you guys about the craft fair and how to pack everything. You know, it's been years since I've done it. I used to have it down to an art. <sighs> Not anymore. So it's a matter of, you know, trying to get back into that that groove now that that's something that I'm going to be doing again. Uh, <clears throat> so I went and I p went to Walmart and I picked up this. Um, <clears throat> now you can see, here, I'll open it up. It's a fishing tackle box <clears throat> and it's got a top and a bottom. A lot of the fishing tackle boxes weren't going to do me any good. So, like the ones that open up like an accordion um so i found this one i paid 32 dollars for this but i was in I, I got a craft fair this weekend and i had to get something <clears throat> so i'm gonna look for these on amazon and see if there's something similar that i can get cheap cheaper but it's a really pretty blue <laughs> <clears throat> so the top has all these little pockets and then it has a big pocket for whatever signage or whatever so I liked that and then where is it there oh, oh I just got myself caught in there then it's got all this and I thought this will be perfect for um, crystals or earrings or whatever I decide to put in here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. So I'm hoping that that's going to work out for me. Uh, I'll, I'm going to go uh, tonight. I'm going to work on that and oh, see how it works out. And I'll show, show you guys in another video. <clears throat> so. Ugh. So, thank you for your suggestions. I am going to get more. Uh, I realized yesterday that I have a rolling cart downstairs <clears throat> that I used to pack all my jewelry in. Why the heck I wasn't using that before, I don't know. Uh, so, I'm going to do that again. Um, and then just pack all the... The stuff in it like the signage the, the tablecloths the all the miscellaneous stuff for um displays <clears throat> and all that that i need so um but yeah so at, <clears throat> sorry guys <clears throat> um i went and on the last craft fair what i did was i had a dish thing that I put all of my single um, bracelets, single gemstone bracelets in. And I thought, you know, 
people kind of dig around in that and I didn't like that idea. Uh, Michael's had a buy one get one 50% off sale for jewelry display stuff. So I got this. Now this was $32. Okay. <laughs> 32 seems to be my thing right now. Uh, <clears throat> I don't particularly like these because if somebody wants to see a bracelet that's over here, they got to take all of these off to get to that bracelet. So I didn't like that at all. But I, again, I need something. Oh, George is trying to contact me. Um, <clears throat> again, I need something like for right now. Uh, and this will work. You know, it's just a pain in the neck. You know. <clears throat> but I mean, I'll, I will get probably all of those bracelets on here. So, yeah. So I got that. I have some earring displays in my shopping carts on various um, websites uh, that I'm going to be bringing in. But in the in the short term, I got this at Michael's because it was 50% off. So it was regular $19. So yeah, okay. 50% uh, off of that. It's I mean, it's cheap plastic, but you know, it was 50% off. So, and I think that I'll be able to get quite a few earrings on there. And it will do me in the short term, right? So it's got... The brackets here and it's got the little holes here right so you can either hang them <clears throat> excuse me hang them from the hole or hang them on the brackets um, I'm gonna put them in the holes because then I can just fold it all up again and pack it put it right in the bat in the bag and away I go and there's quite a few two four six eight to eight um, so that's four pairs to a, a strand. So yeah, that's quite a few. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, yes, because I guess like there's ones on the top and ones on the bottom. So if you have really long earrings, you'd put them on the top, I guess. I'll figure it out. So I got that. <clears throat> then I went to the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> I lucked out because they were having 30% off of all the yarn. And I found some more of the Karen Latte in the cream color. So, of course, they only had three. I don't know why they put everything out in threes. But, um, so I grabbed all three. They were regular 14. They were they were on for 10, 10.99. So, and I don't know if I got 30% off of that or if that was the 30% or whatever. Actually. Uh, I got hat hair, sorry. Um <laughs> That's not it. Latte cakes. Yeah. <clears throat> so I got them for $10.49 each. So it was $31 for all three. So, yeah. So I'm really happy about that. I instantly messaged Angela and said, look what I found. Go to Michael's. Run, run, run. <laughs> she says, I went there last week and got one. I've got three of them. I'm like, what? I go, okay, fine. Uh, then I grabbed another one of the blossom cakes like this because I, um, I, I'm in the process of doing a project with these. So I wanted to make sure I had three. I wanted to make sure I had another one just in case because I seem to be doing that a lot lately. And then I grabbed three of the Craft Smart Value in the black. I always have, no, no, you can't see it, it's over here. I always have 
uh, my no up uh, over there up uh, here <laughs> I always have a stash of black because I use black quite a bit stay steady there we go <clears throat> so yeah so that's what I got for yarn and for for goodies so I saved what is it 30 32 dollars on that order so yay me then I had this epiphany about what I could do I was thinking how can I'm really <clears throat> excuse me I'm really concerned that um now that all those cat's ears are gone that maybe I won't make any sales <laughs> Like, I don't know so I started having a bit of a panic and I thought well what can I do to amp up sales you know when things aren't busy or when things aren't moving or <clears throat> whatever so I thought well how about I pick up some Easter eggs at the dollar store the Easter eggs that you break apart like these and I have a like my all my earrings are like 10 bucks and then I can say you know if you buy a pair of earrings then you get to choose a mystery egg out of the basket and you get a free pair of earrings in a mystery egg you know now you guys are going oh what are you talking about giving away free stuff like that you know um what I'm thinking of is making up a bunch of earrings that don't cost a whole lot to make right <clears throat> and you know it would just be something fun for them to do right because I remember years ago uh I used to have a buy one what was it buy one get one 50% off or something like that and they flew off the shelf so I was thinking well let's put a different spin on it and give them the choice of all these mystery eggs and they have no idea what they're going to get so <clears throat> I got two of these and there's 40 or 24 in a in a pack so I got 48 eggs and I bought some of this fun, whatever, what's this stuff called? Uh, grass, the Easter grass. And then I got one of these signs and I'm gonna write on here, you know, mystery eggs or whatever. Oh, and I'm dropping stuff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, and then I got like a basket for them. So I'm gonna put this in here tape it in there or whatever and then I'm going to have all the eggs in here and uh, they can root through and they can choose which egg they want and see what they get so I thought what that should be fun yay <laughs> everybody likes a deal and everybody likes to have fun like that so I figured that would be a good plan I went and I picked up some of these. I found these the last time I went and I had them on my table, right? The little signs. Um, these worked perfectly on my display, right? I was able to put down, like if I had the crystals, I could put down what the crystal was, what the healing properties were, um, stuff like that, and then how much they were. Uh, so I grabbed four more of these. Because I found that I kind of ran out of them when I was there. Um, I have to dust them off. Uh, <clears throat> so I grabbed four more. And then I grabbed some more of these. And they've got the little oops, paper clips on them. And I found they were really good to clip on. Like if I had a, a dish or something with, like I had um, some carnelian hearts and stuff like that. And I put um, uh, put them in the bowl, and then I clipped one of these on with the price. So 
Uh, so I grabbed two bags of those. So I'm getting, getting, you know, some stuff done. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I um, have decided, made a decision that I am going to do that shop, that that market, public market, and have my own shop. I've um, kind of done a little bit of research into the things that I'm going to need. And so right off the hop, it's including the rent. It's going to cost me a little bit to get up and running. I do have a lot of stuff here that I can put into the shop, like tables and stuff like that. Uh, I've got some displays for different things, <clears throat> but there is some stuff like I want to get a pop-up change, uh, change room. Uh, it's a mobile change room and um, so I want to get something like that in the shop so that if anybody wants to try anything on like <clears throat> excuse me and my niece has beautiful uh, crocheted um, shirts like made from crochet thread and stuff it's like oh god uh, so if they wanted to change to try that on they can um, it's also something that I may end up being able to bring to the craft fairs, like the big craft fairs, uh, where I've got a huge booth. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I wanted to get something like that. Um, what else? Yeah, I've, there's some other stuff that I need to get that uh, it's going to cost a little bit. But I still haven't talked to the lady uh, that runs it. I, I left a message. She hasn't called me back yet. Um, she's probably really busy, you know, but I'll try again. And uh, hopefully we can set something up so that we, I, I can go down there and, you know, meet her down there or something and, and chat. <clears throat> so, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And I think that's everything. Hmm. Um, Angela from My Precious Yarnery. She has written her first pattern. I'm a tester for that. So I'm working on, I've got four different projects going. I'm still, I've got her birthday present that I'm still working on. I'm still, I'm waiting. I had, oh, you guys. I am so thankful for you guys. I really am. I had three people contact, four people actually contact me and say that they either had some or found some of the yarn that I was missing, that I, I ran out of. <clears throat> and they graciously set, are sending it to me. Um, I, I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. I really can't. Uh, as it stands now, <laughs> I can have an overabundance of this yarn now, <laughs> so, which is great because it's nice yarn. Um, but yeah, so I once it comes, I'll be able to finish that project. Uh, her because her birthday's in a few days, like next week or something. Um, and then I'm still working on the snake. I put the snake aside so that I could work on this um, her pattern. Uh, now, if you don't know Angela, go. I'll leave her, her link down below. Um, she has dyslexia, so it's really hard for her. She can't seem to read patterns. They're too wordy for her, and she gets them all muffled and garbled. So she wrote her own pattern. For her, her basis for it was to write it in a way that people with dyslexia could read it and understand it. <clears throat> So, um, so yeah, so I, I, I must've driven her crazy because I was having such a hard time trying to figure out some stuff, right? Like 
<laughs> and I was just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, it's one of the stitches was a V stitch. Do you think for the life of me that I could figure out how to do that row? I'm like, what is wrong with me? It didn't have anything to do with her pattern. It had to do with me. Um, and I was just like, <laughs> I drove her nuts. I'm going, okay, so is this what you mean? Or did, it? and she's like, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe I wasn't the right person to, to do this for you. <laughs> Cause I just, I, I, like I said, I was having a really rough week and I just could not for the life of me think. So yeah, <laughs> but we got figured out. <laughs> I got it all figured out now. And, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing it in the halo or no, not the halo. Sorry. Um, the sweet roll vivid in lava lamp. <sighs> so I'm doing, she did it in a one weight. I'm like, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> like I, I cannot do a one weight. <laughs> She's like, no, no, you don't have to do a one weight. You can do it whatever weight you want. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> so I'm doing it in a four weight. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's turning out really nice. It's going to be very vibrant. It's like vibrant. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh She's putting a border on hers. I think I might put tassels on mine. I don't know. I'll wait till I get that far and see what I do. I don't know. Uh, and then I've got my pattern or my tutorial that I'm still working on. My Jacob's Ladder tutorial. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I just I don't have enough hours in the day. But once the yarn comes for Angela's gift and I get that done, um, then that frees me up to do the rest of the stuff I got to get done. Um, and once I get her pattern finished, um, then I can hopefully, yeah. <laughs> but then I'm going to be busy doing jewelry and doing all that kind of stuff too, so... I'm going crazy, you guys. I'm going absolutely out of my mind. So, okay. I think that's everything. <laughs> okay. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. And, um, yeah. Uh, love you all. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>